What's up, y'all? Happy Monday. No, I just left the Sitgo gas station convenience store with a Wawa on the side. No, not Wawa. Dunkin' Donuts. And behind the counter, there was this African-American woman, two black parents, nice complexion, nice teeth, long braids in her hair. Yeah, they were extensions, but it still, it didn't look like a weave to me. It looked natural, even though it wasn't probably. Um, nice titties, nice firm ass. But I didn't feel anything like, yo, let me get at that. No, I just felt, yo, here's a nice looking woman. I ain't seen too many black women up here. She's nice looking. Pay for your monster drink and keep it pushing. But that ain't what this video is about. This video is about why you should not say anything to anybody's kids as far as disciplining them, especially a black woman. I got three scenarios for you. First scenario. I'm at the YMCA. It's where a lot of my... I got to watch it when I go to the YMCA, watch my social interactions with people for real, because that's one of the few places I visit on the frequent to have interactions with people. Most of the time I'm living in complete solitude and I'm loving it. But anyway, I'm coming up the stairs to go to the fitness center and I see this little girl. You know how when kids are really small, their legs move so fast that you could barely keep up with them. They just pew, they're really fast when they're really young like that. They got to a daycare center at the Y and the kids were playing in the multi-purpose room, which was en route to the fitness center. So I see this little girl, little black girl come barreling out and look back like she's running from somebody. And she co she comes running around a corner and this, I'm coming up the stairs and the stairs are right there. So I didn't want her to fall down the stairs. So naturally I just stepped in front of her and put my hands out like, Oh honey, where you going? And her mother comes out looking at me like, what the fuck are you saying to my child like that? So future scenarios, I let the little bastard tumble down the steps and break their neck. I don't give a fuck for real. Second scenario, I'm on the city bus. There's a little boy sitting in front of me, sticking his middle finger up to his sister. You know, cussing her out and shit like that. Little boy that barely knows what the middle finger is. So I say something to him. His mother says something to me. I can't really remember what she said, but it was something about I'll discipline my children and you mind your business or something like that. I might have said a few choice words back, but I sat there basically and bit my tongue and got really pissed off because I'm not the type of person. And when you say something to me that I don't like where I just sit there and be quiet about it, that ain't part of my demeanor. That ain't who I am as a person. So that's two scenarios where I said something to black women's kids or, or kept them from doing something that would be detrimental to them and their mothers didn't appreciate it. <laughs> and I told my father about it. You know, he's kind of got a sense of humor like mine. I said, yeah, I was on the bus and there's some kid there cussing at his little sister sticking up his middle finger. And my dad said, hmm, must have been a white kid. So, yeah, he's kind of funny in that regard. But now the third scenario was a white female. Now, listen to this outcome. I'm at Target, you know, and there's a little boy standing up in the cart. You know how you sit in the cart and put your, well, I don't, but a little kid would sit in a cart and, you know, you stick your legs through. Well, he was standing up in the cart and his mother was trying to get him to sit down and he wouldn't sit down. And I just walked by and I said to him, I said, you know, she does a lot for you. So I would listen to her. And he looked at me, sat his little ass right down like he was supposed to and the mother the mother looked at me and said thank you now the difference in that situation the reason why the little boy minded me was because he probably came from a two-parent household and he was just out for his out with his mother for the day and decided you know what since my dad's not here i'll defy my mother and then i showed up as a male presence and told him what to do and he did it these kids ain't going to admit it because they don't know it to be true themselves, but they want somebody, especially little boys. They want somebody to be stern with them and if need be, put their foot in their ass when they fuck up. They don't know it. They don't know it, but they know that that's how it's supposed to be. I'm supposed to have a male, a strong male figure in my life that gets me to do things when I feel that I want to be defiant because uh, when I worked at a like a like a juvie jail for young boys and there would be all women on the pod, the kids would act crazy. And then I remember one day 
a nurse called me from another unit and said, yo, we need just stand right there. Just stand there. Don't say nothing. Just stand there. Them kids calm the fuck down. And all I did was stand there. And I'm, I'm a small stature guy, five foot eight, about 140 pounds. But the male presence is all that they needed to show that they better behave themselves. Even the little boy on the on the on the dart bus that was sticking his middle finger up after his mother got in my ass for saying something. Uh, when he got off the bus, he literally waved to me as if to say, I appreciate what you did. My mom has let me get away with too much shit. And eventually I'm going to be in jail because my mom is going to allow for me to do whatever I want to do. And eventually I'm going to run into authority that's going to lock me the fuck up. But still, mm -mm. I'm not saying anything to these kids no more. No, no. Even to the white kid, I, I still, not the fact that he was white, but the fact that these kids don't belong to me. I'm not being paid to to curb their behavior. So why am I doing it? I'm not doing it no more, fellas. See y'all later.